B is detectable by our sense of smell. S. From a distance of 1 mile, Sussex needs to put an end to the P. R. Stunts. Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Princess Diana News Channel. Join us for another enchanting journey into the world of royalty. Now, let's get to the video. I believe many of you would concur with my assertion that Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have an irritating tendency to underestimate our intelligence. They have a strong belief in their ability to freely communicate any message to us. Despite its lack of truth, we will unquestionably believe it simply because they stated it. The latest report in the Mirror suggests that Harry and Meghan are making a conscious effort to impress and enhance their reputations, seen as experts in their field. Certainly, I would agree with that statement. The beginning of the article discusses Archwell. Indeed, what a chaotic disaster that turned out to be. The Archwell website champions compassion above all else, as indicated by its tagline. The message conveys the idea of joining together to make a positive impact on a global scale, displaying compassion as our guiding principle. What is the true significance of that statement? Harry and Meghan possess a remarkable talent for employing trendy terms that they may not fully comprehend. And once all the components are combined, it becomes a jumbled mess of meaningless words. According to Meghan and Harry, their non-profit organization, mentioned on the Archwell website, is a commitment to making a transformative impact on the world and their local communities. The foundation also aims to utilize compassion as a driving force to bring about meaningful and widespread cultural transformation. Once more, what is the topic of their conversation? Are they even aware of the definitions behind these words? Most likely not, as it seems to be mere superficial statements. Laura Perks, a PR specialist, suggests that Meghan and Harry frequently fail to resonate with the public in their efforts to gain favor. It appears that both the general public and the media are skeptical about accepting it. Naturally, we are not convinced of its credibility. We are much wiser than they think we are. She expressed that Harry and Meghan have established a reputation that will persist indefinitely. As a result, both the media and the general public will inevitably form opinions about the couple and their motives driving their choices. She's highlighting an excellent argument, which renders all the endeavors to transform themselves or rejuvenate their appearances completely absurd. We are well aware of their identity. We are familiar with their identity, hold negative sentiments towards them, and desire to cease constantly hearing about them. Regrettably, Laura expressed doubt about their actions, suggesting that many of their endeavors are merely intended to create the appearance of aligning with their organization's motto of compassionate leadership, although the public and the media remain unconvinced. They consistently make an excessive effort, yet fail to achieve their target. Indeed, Meghan and Harry's recent actions demonstrate a profound disconnect with the majority of society. People generally dislike those who try too hard. It's incredibly off-putting. One aspect of their relentless efforts involves never achieving success. Despite their efforts, they continuously find themselves unsuccessful in any endeavor they undertake. It is quite evident why they consistently fail in all their endeavors. Their commitment to it is lacking. They lack the motivation to put an effort in any task. For instance, they strive to convince us that they embody the values of environmental conservation. If they truly consider themselves eco-warriors, they should not just discuss their commitment but also provide practical guidance on lowering our carbon footprint. They could begin by refraining from using private jets whenever they have travel needs. Whenever they have to travel a distance of 200 feet, they are required to utilize a convoy consisting of seven vehicles. No, there is no need for that, which is what gives them the appearance of being hypocritical. Following this, Laura discusses a Halloween photograph of trick-or-treating that did not even depict them. In her statement, 
she suggests that the intention behind their actions could be to establish a recurring family custom, where they take Archie and Lily trick or treating to portray their normalcy as a regular family. However, to my perception, it seems to be a cleverly disguised public relations tactic. They aim to project a particular image. They chose to relinquish their roles as working royals in order to attain greater freedom. She made an accurate observation. In my honest opinion, Meghan and Harry should consider replacing WME, Scooby-Doo, and their current PR team with Laura, as she seems to have insightful suggestions for their future direction. I am uncertain about her ability to revive their brand, yet she does recognize the issue with their current approach. For instance, that Halloween picture was extremely unusual. To clarify, the family in question was not actually related to them. Furthermore, the origin of this object is puzzling to me, it appears as though it was deliberately placed there. They shared a photo they had found on someone else's Insta reel, with no specific reason or connection. They focused closely on this picture. A family consisting of four individuals, namely Meghan and Harry, came to a decision. The appearance lacked clarity. It was impossible to identify the person. Afterwards, they circulated among several of Sugar's Instagram and Twitter profiles. And I believe that's precisely how it became widely known. Subsequently, as anticipated, news of this spread rapidly across global media platforms, with all of them jumping on the bandwagon. It is important to bear in mind, however, that there is no concrete proof to substantiate the claim that the family in question is indeed Meghan and Harry's. I won't delve into the photo once more as it has already been proven false. However, the games they participate in not only drain their energy, but also provide no benefits to them. I cannot comprehend Meghan and Harry's confidence in our gullibility to be deceived by such ludicrous tactics. We possess enough intelligence to detect deception and we find it disrespectful to be deceived. Transparency and honesty have long been held in high regard. In today's era of advanced technology and AI, the significance of transparency and honesty has become more pronounced. This is the expectation we have for public figures. It aligns with our expectations. In summary, Laura commends Harry for his remarkable achievements through the Invictus Games and his courageous advocacy for mental health awareness. Regrettably, it appears that he is presently utilizing these platforms solely for self-promotion and enhancing his own standing, causing disappointment. Due to his impressive accomplishments and vast potential for further achievements. However, the couple's behavior and decisions have made most people reluctant to work with them. She's right. It is truly unfortunate that they squandered such an incredible opportunity on their hands. And why would they do this? To flee to California, perhaps? And what was the motivation behind it? To pursue Megan's dreams of becoming an actress? No, not quite. To embark on a political career? Definitely not that either. Is her goal to become an influencer, perhaps? Meghan and Harry's primary focus appears to be wealth and attaining celebrity status, leaving little room for genuine concerns beyond those interests. If their priority was truly aiding others, their decision to depart from the royal family would not have been made. I find it hard to believe, honestly. The primary role of the royal family is to provide assistance to individuals. To possess humanitarian and philanthropic qualities is essential. To give Harry his due, I truly believe that his intentions are focused on aiding others. I doubt his understanding of that concept and his ability to execute it due to his self-imposed limitations. I have doubts about Meghan's statement, I am skeptical. I highly doubt that she had any plans to continue her role as a member of the royal family. Her intention was always to return to the United States. S. Utilizing her title, money, and connections, she was able to fulfill her long-desired aspiration for fame. Thinking that she had not succeeded in achieving her goals independently, she believed that having a prince by her side and the prestigious title of a duchess would effortlessly unlock countless opportunities for her in Hollywood. There seemed to be a bit of unfortunate timing involved. 
I mean, with the onset of COVID, everything came to a halt. However, I don't believe Meghan and Harry were going to achieve the level of popularity in America that they anticipated. In other words, they believed they were destined to become like royalty in the United States. It appears that they have either failed to grasp or disregarded the fact that Americans have little interest in royalty. While we are interested in the British royals, we have no desire for a monarchy within our own country. Americans take great pride in their ability to achieve success through perseverance and self-reliance. You don't need to come from an aristocratic lineage to possess wealth, influence, and status. Now, nearly four years following their departure from the royal family, Meghan and Harry are struggling to find their footing. Although they have secured profitable contracts, these contracts are rapidly depleting. Spotify has made reductions, and it is likely that Netflix will do the same. Regarding Penguin Random House, it is uncertain what their future holds. From my perspective, it seems that Meghan and Harry are currently facing a crucial decision or possibly even nearing the conclusion of their journey. Will they finally heed the counsel of PR professionals or will they stubbornly continue on their current course, disregarding any suggestions for improvement? If they persist in their current behavior, it will mark the definitive downfall of their endeavors. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.